Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines with me Biffa and here we are in our vanilla city of Antarctica. That's right. So I planned at the beginning of this series to get up to Megalopolopolis and we're so close. We're one leap away from that. I think we need like about 20,000 inhabitants or something like that. Probably a bit less than that. So let's take a look at our milestones. Ah, oh, we've got 57,000 so we haven't got that many to go. 13,000 to get up to there which is good. I was thinking about adding in some more industry because if we look over here at our population, we have an unemployment rate of 12% which isn't brilliant and there's a nice little spot over here if we go into our ore industry ah oh, we've got a nice ore area here so let us add that in and i think certainly built into the mountains here that is going to be fantastic elm industries we need to have a nice ore related tea related name for that so let us know in the comments below and um, what are we going to do we're going to add oh straight away I was going to go for <laughs> this one here will do an asymmetrical road off of this road here just thinking yeah whether we could do it there at that at a t junction no we're not going to do that we are going to come out of here we'll be fine so let's go up to there which way rounds that facing we'll turn that round so we've got a nice asymmetrical connection to the main road which is great we shall then also turn off oh let's try that again also turn off those and put a stop sign there excellent then we're going to dive back into our industry road i'm actually thinking in here whether we can use the larger industry road the medium one so i know we're going from a small road to a medium road but i think that should be okay and i'm going to sort of mirror this along here There we go. So we've got access to that. I'm just thinking about hooking into this rail line as well. We could add in... We've got this cargo train station over there. So they could come down this road, go under there, come over here. Let's add in. I'm assuming that this ore industry is going to be pretty, pretty busy. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to take that piece out at the end. And I'll tell you why in a second. We'll pop in here one of these. So how's that going to work? I think that's actually going to work pretty well let's pop that there and then all we've got to do is hook that are we going to hook that in going in both directions i think we'll try to let's see what we can do so if we sort of mirror that to there and then bring that in in that direction would a turn around here work There we go. If we do that instead, keep the two ways separate. Yeah, that should be much better. That seems a little bit more realistic in my mind. Cool. Okay, so now we can get these guys in and out. Um, let's go into here and pop our resources mode on. So if we have this zone coming all the way down to here, we can have our main building over here. And then we can just get this growing. So let's pop our ore industry main building. There we go. Excellent. Small ore mine, sand storage, and ore grinding mill. And I'm sort of thinking ahead. Oh, that fits in nicely, doesn't it? Excellent. I'm thinking ahead. So when we get those big machines, we can have them cutting into the mountain up here. That would be great. Uh, we've got traffic lights here as well. Don't really need those. So let's take those out and we'll just keep that moving. And then what I wanted to do on... Oh, yeah, we need... Yeah, we'll get back to you with the heating and the water. I just want to put like a little turnaround at the end here. There we go. That's better. So they can get in and out of here. No problem. I mean, they would have just sort of turned around at the end because you've got this sort of medium barrier said acclaimed okay got this little barrier down the middle but do it with a roundabout looks much nicer we'll sort of get the same effect as we get over here uh, there's no people coming out of there at the moment so let us give some water uh, or some heating let's go straight for the heating pipes for these lovely people keep them all nice and toasty there we go and then electricity where could we bring that in 
and bring it in there. Excellent. There we go. So we'll get some access in here in the Elm Pit. <laughs> lovely name, lovely name. So what have we got access to? We have access to small ore mines, and then we've got the ore grinding mill and some storage. So maybe let's take a look in here. I feel like I want to go for the gravel road. Let's go for the industry road. The gravel road I like for the farming. The industry road, I'm thinking these guys are going to be filling up with some real heavy stuff, aren't they? So let us go. And you don't have to line up perfectly. That's not what you necessarily expect in a mine. And you would expect them to be digging in like this at all sorts of random places. So we're going to pop that in there. Uh, then for storage, sand storage. Oh, that is pretty big, isn't it? Let's go back to this one again. I'm going to try and pop that where there isn't a huge amount of ore and stuff. So, do you know what? I might just actually put that off the main road. Do I want to do that? Is that going to cause a problem? No. We'll put that off the main road like that. That'll be fine. Because they're going to be coming up this side anyway. And we'll keep that on balance for now. And then we want to turn that into... We want to process that into metals. How big is this building? Not too big. And that could be in here as well, couldn't it? Yeah, decided to change it up a bit. We're not quite encroaching on all of this stuff over here, so I think we will be okay. There we go. That should be okay. So we're going to keep this field, actually, because we want to keep these guys with their ores and their metals churning away. And then we just actually need... Um, I mean, we could have a little warehouse over here. So let's have a look. They're going to be coming in that way... Yeah, this is going to start giving us issues, isn't it? What's the smallest warehouse that we've got available to us? We've got this one, which will fit sideways. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. So if we take one of these here, I don't want it to hook into the other road. Is that going to work? Let's see if that will go there. Yes, excellent. So I've got a couple of those in there, and that is going to be four metals but we're going to keep that as empty for now bom, 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 bom. metals and empty so most of that is just going to be sent out oh let's turn this road around for money so we can start making money let's turn off that we've got a stop sign there we'll see how that goes that should be okay so they can come in there drop that off and then they can cut across there go into there yeah hopefully it's not going to get too busy I think this is our first... Oh, no, we haven't got any stored in here yet, have we? Oh, yeah, we have. I think this will get too filled before they start going into there. So how about we just go for balance for now, just to get that going. There we go. Look, they're all coming out. Dropping it all off. Excellent. Um, And then what I would like to do is try and help people to get over here. So what options do we have for transit? Okay, so taking this overview look of the city. Oh, we need to get some more heating going. We've got our metro that loops around and this other one or two metro lines that all come here to Hawkey Park, which then comes down here to the station, uh, to the station, to the airport. So I'm just wondering whether we could just run a shuttle bus from outside here um, over to our new little area. So if we pop a bus in over here, this line at the back, and then that's going to come through that roundabout. That's also going to come up this road here. I'm wondering whether we could just add... Mm, where can we bring that in so it doesn't get in the way too much? I mean, if we literally bring it in and stop it there, and then bring it back again, where's that going to go? It's going to go up the road, turn around and go back. Yeah, let's try that. That's bus line number three. Why is that not completed? Let's try that again. Complete. There we go. We didn't need another stop. How many vehicles are we going to get on there? Seven. No. Let's go for three, I think, would be even overkill. Let's go for two. It's not that much of a distance. I think we'll be okay. What have we got? A <laughs> school bus. Let's not put them in a school bus. Uh, we'll go for a little purple bus there, just to help people get across. Okay, excellent. Let's have a look at our heating. 
Um, so we do have heating available. I'm wondering whether I didn't notice whether the temperature dropped down a lot then. And that was maybe the issue. Maybe that was it. How's our airports doing? 138 over there. And this is for our cargo one that is going rather well. So we want to just keep an eye on what we're doing here. We're still importing. Uh, we're outputting a lot. So yeah, eventually that our metals are going straight out. So let's have a look at our factories. What other factories have we got available to us? So we've actually placed all the factories down. Okay, are any of those needing metal at the moment? Okay, yes, we have the petroleum refinery that we haven't placed down yet. That's going to take petroleum, plastics, and metals. And the first two we can, we've already been making. The second one we are making now. Um, can we sort of squeeze that in here? Not on that road we can't. If we put a nice little road coming in sideways. I'm going to do it there just before we get to the bend. And then we'll turn that around. Uh, maybe that doesn't need to be that all the way along. Let's just upgrade that like that. Excellent. And that can go up against there, running alongside the highway. There we go. Excellent. As with all of them, I'm just going to put it up to 150% and hope for the best. Uh, let's put some water and such up here for these guys. Yep, electricity will jump. So we've got petroleum and plastics, I believe, being stored in here. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, there's petroleum and there's plastics. Plastics, we're struggling a bit. This one here. Oh, actually, no, we're doing okay. Yeah, I think that's the only one that's got plastics in. So can we increase our plastic production? Yeah, at the moment, the best option we've got... Oh, auto save, quick sip of tea. Ah, the best option we've got is the petrol chemical plant. We do have three of those here already, I believe. Let's pop in a, another couple of those. Plastics, plastics. We've got this one here, this one here. Then we've got these six that are making petroleum. So I think they're sort of getting a little bit overloaded. Uh, do you know what, actually? I'm going to turn those around and put them off of this road instead. Let's give the traffic a fighting chance. So hopefully... That'll balance this out a little bit more and we'll get a little bit more plastic coming. Um, I don't think we need to put any more storage in. Uh, what's that going to be making? Fuels, which will come into our... Yeah, we've got a unique factory product thing over here set to empty. So that should be okay. The only other thing we haven't got over here is I was thinking of popping in the train station. But the traffic at the moment, I mean, it's 88%. I mean, this is sort of... This whole thing is a cul-de-sac, which is a horrendous design. I'm wondering whether... What have we got along here? Some houses. Whether we could bring in this road down here to connect. I think that would probably be something that this industry would do. Now that it's expanding, they're thinking, you know, we've got to build up our infrastructure. And I think they would pay to upgrade these houses and they would buy out these houses down here so these people would just move out so let us so now we've got another access out into the wider world let us just set on here we do have a stop sign already hopefully that won't be too bad with the traffic getting in and out we'll see how that goes but yeah not too long until this gets up to level five which is great so just check in our population. We were at 12% unemployment, now at 9%. So that is good. So we do have a bit of space for adding some more people in. So I'm just wondering whether we could do something with this area over here. What have we got resources-wise? Yeah, a spattering of resources, but nothing that we can't find elsewhere. So let's build up some road infrastructure. What have we got going on here? We've got these two roads going over the top which run along there how many lanes are they they're one lane each okay i feel like this actually needs to be a larger road like this so maybe does that actually connect to the highway that gives an access off oh that is a really weird junction so it gives an access off the highway here into this but if they come down here the only place they can go is straight across if they go down there they can come back but if they want to go this way they can't so i suppose yeah this is one of those junctions that's been built to sort of look nice but oh there we go excellent but isn't actually 
serving any real purpose but okay uh, what have we got workers barracks steel plants glass manufacturing all storage and small ore mine undergrounds okay that steel plant is catching my eye uh, let's just have a quick look at the factories that's going to be in here somewhere there it is so what does that do and steel plant needs metal special goods for the production oh, oh that is literally it it just takes metals ooh, 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 ooh. maybe we could also pop that that's too big to fit into there it's gonna take up a lot of space it's a shame that won't fit in there. It will fit this way. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to pop that there like that. We're then going to have this road. Coming alongside here. Uh, yeah, we'll go all the way to the end. And then we want some storage here for metals. And then we'll just leave that running for a bit. And we'll see how it goes. These are going to be too big too big these will be perfect let's put one of those in there for now and i want that one filled with metals so that's where our metals are going to come so we can start making more special products and make even more money so that then might make us think about our storage over here so we've got two of these being stored for metal i'm going to just take Yes, yeah, so that's going to go there, and then this truck has picked it up. So I think you're going over to the industrial steel plant. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave them like that as sort of an intermediary place where they can drop those off. And then hopefully, they're all just going to be sent over there and we'll make Moolah, which is good. Okay, so back to expanding over here. Okay, so thinking about using this area here, we're going to slightly change the way these roads are set up. Um, so let's grab... We might just upgrade these roads in a moment, but let's grab that. So our main road through here is going to be this one, and eventually that could carry on down there, which means this one can then connect into there. Um, I'm not entirely sure we're going to need traffic lights on here. It's not that busy, so I'm going to take those off. I don't even think we need stop signs on there, to be honest. And then we can start heading out into this area. This is where we're going to build out. Now we've got this little road connection. It's got a teeny tiny roundabout for ants that comes under here and connects to that road. So I'm wondering whether we could make use of this somehow. And then we've got this weird connection here, which we mentioned before doesn't sort of really work properly. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that. I think this is going to end up with traffic lights because it's going to become a busier spot there we go that this little hub this little area is going to be built around now we do have airplanes of course uh coming and flying in over here so i think what we're going to do is a lot of low density housing over here now if i had my mods and things i might use maybe the university pack or something like that which sort of in my mind gives the sort of houses that you might find here but we don't have that so ah oh, and i can't upgrade all of these i'm not really going to redraw all of that in no 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 i'm not no i'm not so let us just put some housing Ooh, thank you very much in over here or some streets for some housing Okay, so I'm just trying to make best use of the space here. Make it gridded, but not 100% gridded, if that makes sense. So we get a little bit of interest. Oh, look, we've got the Hickory region again. <laughs> 
Haven't we just seen that recently in another city building series that I do? Hmm. So we've got the main way in coming here off of these big collector roads. But then we've got these sort of smaller... I mean, this is basically being used as a collector road down here and connecting off to over across the other side. Some sort of connection to the highway, at least in this direction anyway. And if they wish to go the other way, they can come up here, use these other roads. Uh, this roundabout here being a good one. So we're really going to have to incentivize the people that are going to come and move in over here because with the airports over there yeah it's going to be tough so uh, that is an industry region whoops let me rebuild that there we go it's now called hickory park so let's just have a look at some of the policies here so what i'm thinking for is tax relief for low density residential uh, tax relief for low density commercial tax relief for offices i think we're going to have all of those in there um, smoke detector distribution. I think that is going to be something to try and encourage more people to move in there. Uh, parks and recreation. Increased land value. Definitely going to need that. Um, increases police budget. Slightly reduced crime. Yeah, we'll go for that. Free public transport. Yes, we're going to give them that as well. Uh, this is okay. I think the rest of that. Free Wi-Fi reduces mail yeah go on we're going to give them free wi-fi as well they are going to love living in here a book fair increases happiness and entertainment yeah there we go so we're going all out in what we're going to do here our style is going to be default style which is fine um so let us first of all start off with some parks in the middle here so these parks are the fantastic correct size for in there and these ones as well so let's just see what we can do so we're going to have this as a little park area in there we definitely want some more parks dotted around um i think some of these will be too big we've got the little doggy park uh, what have we got winter snow wise yeah i think Let's pop one of these in at each end. Uh, then we've got the Ice Sculpture Park, which actually could become a part of this park area over here. Um, and then let's have a look. I like the Fire Pit Park. Why don't we pop that down here? So this becomes like a nice little park area. Excellent. Uh, we've got to make sure that they've got all the water coverage they need. So let us sort that out. Okay, so we've pretty much got everything in that we want. And then, of course, we want our public library to try and cover as much of this area as possible for that added little bonus. What I think I might just do is move that over there. Excellent. And then we'll get our public library and we'll squeeze that in there. Very good, very good. So let us zone a little bit of this. I think everything sort of... I mean, that is probably, I've got to be honest, more than enough shops along there. Uh, we're going to put a few offices along here, maybe to block the noise. And then the rest of this is just going to be low density housing. So let me just fill this in. I think we're going to avoid going along the main road. That'll probably be a good idea. This one up here, I think will be fine. Yeah, I think that should be okay. And then the only other thing we need to do is get some electrical connections along here. Just looking where we can get that over the highway. This is going to be a tough one. Um, okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do is... Can I go oh, up? Maybe not that high. Let's try that again. If we go up one. Seriously, not going to get over. Oh, yep, yeah, just about. There we go. Excellent. There we go. Bring that into there. That will connect most of it. Then the other bits will connect up as time goes on. Right. So let's just keep an eye on this little area. 
and see what we get building in. Probably would also help if I hooked up the power over here as well. So let me just see if I can get that over the line there. Because everybody's complaining and everybody's happy again. Excellent. So while that's building in, I'd be interested to know what the land value is. There we go. Look at that. Very high land value. So lots of services, lots of parks, and that's really helped to beef that up. And it's as you can see, it's encouraging people to move in. These are upgrading, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it looks like we probably could do with a little bit more commercial. So why not let's fill in some of these spots along the front here. Here we go, and we'll grab that one as well, and this one here, and this should be, this should be pretty good as it is. So I'm going to leave that going, we're going to just add a few more trees and things into this. Okay, while that's building up then, the one thing that we don't have here is transport options now i am wondering whether to add to our subway and you know what i think that would be a good idea because we're trying to encourage people to move in here and we are going to expand into these two little areas here possibly over here as well coming up to fifty-five thousand, we have our metro right there so we could bring that in uh, that's not the underground metro station I'm looking for. We could bring that right into the center where these parks are. Let's have a look. And I think that would be fantastic. So maybe right there. Let's connect that up. There we go. And then we just pause the game. I'm going to drag that stop up to there. There we go. And then we'll just add in that stop there and that stop. Nope, not that one. Hang on. Oh, I've messed it up. And that stopped there on both sides. Excellent. So now they are connected up to the wider network of the whole city. And this is building up okay. What have we got in here? 600 people and increasing. So it's not going to take very long for that to start building up. So I think we're going to fill up these two areas as well. There we go. So that is this little area set up as well. And in fact, I'm going to extend our Hickory Park. There we go. Zone, district, whatever you want to call it, to cover all of this as well. So all the benefits are also going to apply to this area. So let's just quickly do that. And then I also want to just check. There we go. Excellent. That our public library that we have here won't cover the whole thing so let's pop another one i'm going to do it there excellent so we get the benefits for that as well unfortunately you've got a couple of shops not enough educated workers but of course that will come over time oh man Oh man, we're getting a few issues here. Let's just check. Electricity is okay. Heating is okay. Sewage treatment is not okay. All right, so let's just see if we can do a little something about that. We do have the inland advanced eco, whatever they're called, sewage treatment areas. Could we pop that in here somewhere? I'm just wondering if we could just go over here and utilize some of this space up here. 
as we have been doing. I think that might be a good idea. If we could squeeze maybe one of those in there. Is that going to help? Let's just hook that up. Let's go back to here. Let's just speed the game up a bit when that kicks in online. Yep, adds our sewage treatment up a tiny bit. I'm going to add another one in, just so we know. Oh, look at that. It just won't fit in there. That is slightly annoying. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. So we're going to adjust this road a little bit. Lots of snow coming down as well. That is something else that we need to keep in mind. I'm going to bring that down to there. Can I fit another one in now? No, still can't fit it in. Okay. How about we do this then? Uh, we'll connect these roads up as they were before. There we go. And we can back another one onto here. Fantastic. I keep using the heat pipes to connect these to it. You don't really need to, but that is fine. So that should then take us... Oh, I'm going to move it over. Ever so slightly to line that up. There we go. That should take us well over the limit that we need. It does. Excellent. Oh, we've won a football game. Everybody's pleased. So that should help with that. And then we've just got the snow on the roads. Um, so if we go into our snow on the roads <laughs> thing. Snow dump, as it's called. Um, we could do with possibly... Oh, we're getting some traffic now. We are getting some traffic. Where could we pop that that would help? I'm wondering whether... Add in a couple in here where it doesn't really matter that we've got the pollution. We've got great access to the highway, which is what we want. Uh, we could add a couple of... Let's have a look in here. A couple of these in. There we go to get our power across. And that should start helping these people over here. Oh, look at this. What have we got in Hickory Park now? Up to nearly 2,000. That is fantastic. Yeah, people are populating the area and they're loving it. Okay, let's just take a look at the traffic in this area. So actually, it's not too bad. It's just these two high, uh, two roundabout connections up here. I think with this one, most people are just trying to get across the road from one side to the other. If we select, say, that and take a look. Yeah, most are just going straight on but having to stop at the roundabout. So I think what we're going to do there is turn off the stop signs at either side. So these are the two busiest ones and it will just keep that flowing and I might just do oh there's no stop signs on there but they're stopping anyway I know what that is yeah there's not enough lanes on there and I bet if I where's my mouse gone there it is I bet if I try and upgrade these lanes it's not going to let me we could definitely do with at least two lanes on there and it isn't going to let me okay that is slightly annoying but Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to delete this and we are going to try and upgrade. Yeah, that is going to be... Ooh, that is never going to work. There you go. Not the roundest of roundabouts you've ever seen, but... Oh, quick auto-save, sip of tea. Hmm. I definitely think that's going to work a lot better with the extra lanes on there. Let's just make sure... I'm going to do stop signs there and there and just keep these two... There we go. Look, it's getting through a lot quicker, which is good. And one other thing we could do, which I haven't done in here... Hmm. Is... I actually wanted to give these people some roads with bike lanes and things like that. Do you know what? Actually... I think that'll be okay. I think we're going to leave it like that. Why is our snow dump coverage? So coverage is over here. Conditions quite low. I think they've headed off into other parts of the city. Yeah. So it's going to take a few moments to get around. But let's just double check that again. So coverage. Yeah, coverage is fine. I think once we get a snowstorm in, it just takes ages for them to get out and deal with it all. So, yep, we'll just have to leave that like it is. Oh, looks like things are going well at Oak Oil Field up to level five. Fantastic.
Okay, things are going well. I'm going to pause there for a moment. So we've got this problem with the heating again. At minus 20 degrees. Uh, let's just check what we've got here. Yeah, heating availability is a tad low. Uh, so we've got a geothermal heating plant here. Uh, we've got a couple dotted around up there. Let's squeeze one in over here if we can. Uh, let's take a look. What have we got? Boiler, geothermal. They're actually bigger than I remembered. Oh man, can't fit it in there. We should be able to fit it in here somewhere. Here we go. Perfect. That will do nicely. We shall plug that in. There we go. Excellent. That should take us ooh, probably just about enough. We'll see how that goes. So up to 61,000 people, which is absolutely fantastic. Our oil area, let's have a look over here, is now five stars. So we've got access to even more ways of making money. What are you short on? Metals. Yeah, we need to increase this area over here. Elm pit. But yeah, I think that is looking pretty good. So I'm really pleased with the way this episode went. I think there's one more episode in it before we hit Megalopolopolis. What do you reckon? If you enjoyed this one, please leave a thumbs up. I've really enjoyed playing in vanilla. Maybe check out the other video on the screen as well and have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.